I just wanted to make this quick Nintendo Switch video because recently Nintendo did update the Switch to a new firmware and although the UI looks the same there's a lot of little things under the hood that actually change. Once again I really do apologize guys that I am recording the Switch screen. I'm not video recording this because I'm currently on vacation and I have no other cho choice. Also, I am the only one behind the camera, so I do apologize if this footage is a little bit shaky. Unfortunately, I do have to control the camera, and I also have to control the switch with a uh, controller. So unfortunately, this is not going to be the best video, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because, well, this is a pretty major switch update. This is pretty much the first switch update that we got that actually changed a lot of things in the UI. First of all, I'm going to start off with the quick menu. If you hold down and open the quick menu, you will see now that there's another bar. So there's one bar to change the brightness like there always was. And then there's another one that actually changes the volume of the Nintendo Switch. So no longer do you have to actually press the physical controls on the top if you want to change the volume of your system. You can actually change it in the quick settings menu, which is very good. If you go ahead and click on the news, the news panel looks exactly the same as it had before. But if you look up at the top right, you will see Find Channels. And what Find Channels is, I'm going to go ahead and go to that. If you actually go to Find Channels and click on it, you can basically subscribe to uh, news for your favorite game. So say that you like Splatoon, you can uh, follow channel, or you like ARMS, or you like Mario Odyssey, you can follow channel. And you'll get news on that specific game, which is a very nice touch. Currently, at the moment, they only have three games. They have ARMS, Super Mario Odyssey, and they have Splatoon 2. I assume in the future, they'll add more, and they'll probably take away games that are already old. For instance, let's say these games in a year to two years are already old. There's no reason to get new news on them well because they're old. That is just a very nice uh, feature. And then there's some new features in the uh, album as well. I have not checked out the eShop, so I guess in this video, I'm going to go ahead and check out the eShop for you guys. Right now, you can see this pretty much looks the same. Now, this could be an old feature. I do apologize if this is an old feature. But it looks like at the bottom, if you press the filter button and click on filter, you can actually categorize your uh, Switch's uh, screen caps or screen pictures. You can see I have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, The Legend of Zelda, NBA Playgrounds, and Splatoon 2 Global Test Fire, and other pictures. So if you click on one, it'll just bring up pictures for that game. For instance, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Go ahead and click on it. You can see it only brings up pictures for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'll go back to filter and then you can see that or you can do all screenshots system memory micro sd card so it's just a nice touch to be able to organize your pictures i'm still hoping nintendo in the future actually lets them add them to certain folders so we can actually organize them ourselves through folders but this is better better than nothing and also i do apologize if this was an old feature this might have been an old feature but i don't remember it being there in the switches ui at the beginning now let's go ahead and actually go into the Nintendo eShop and check it out and see if there's anything new in the Nintendo eShop. I don't know if the eShop has actually changed. Nope, it looks like the eShop is exactly the same. I tried to uh, really just look at all the new features as fast as I could before making this video and nope, it looks like the Switch's eShop is exactly the same. Let me go ahead and back out of the Nintendo Switch's eShop. Now when it comes to your uh, friends list, there are some things that have changed in the Switch's uh, friends list. For instance, right here, if you go to friend suggestion, you can now get suggestions through uh, through um, uh, Mitomo or Super Mario Run. You can also get it through the uh, your uh, 3DS if you have uh, 3DS. And also, there is a fan running right now. I really do apologize. So I'm going to try to talk over the fan noise. So I got to be kind of loud for this because this is really the only spot I can record this video at the moment. And then it says, uh, if any of your friend, uh, Nintendo 3DS friends also use Nintendo Switch, they will be suggested as friends here. And then also you can see all the current friends that have the Wii U as well. So it's just a nice touch that there is more ways to add friends on the Nintendo Switch. And that's pretty much all there is when it comes to adding friends on the Nintendo Switch that are new. And uh, yeah, it looks like those are all the new ways ways pretty much i don't see anything yep i don't see anything new here hopefully you can hear my voice over that uh fan in the background 
Now we're also gonna go into system settings. Here's where some things actually changed. I'm looking around for what changed. In data management, I think we have quick archive now. Let me go ahead and hit click archive. Again, I do apologize, it, apologize if it's already an old feature, but quick archive basically lets you uh, keep your save data and let you delete the game to save space. That's what save uh, archive does. Let me go ahead and click on uh, NBA Playgrounds. You can see it's changing over there. I really don't know how quite this feature does work yet. I have to really play around with more of software archive, but there is software archive. You can also go down to manage software, and then if you click on one of these, you will get some more features, which I do believe weren't there uh, originally. You have uh, preset auto, uh, prevent auto arching, archive software and delete software. And uh, I think the one at the bottom that says a uh, uh, check for corrupt data, I think that one was already there at the beginning when the switch uh, launched, it was already in the UI. And that's pretty much the new stuff in data management. Then if you keep going down, to uh, controllers and sensors. I think the new one here is Pro Controller Wired Connection. So now you can actually use your uh, Pro Controller as a wired controller when you connect it to the switch via the uh, USB Type-C uh, uh, con uh, wire. So if you have your uh, Pro Controller connected to the switches dock with a USB Type-C cord, it'll act as a wired connection. So you should get better uh, you should get better latency on your controller, especially if you're going to be playing games like if Smash Brothers comes or if you're going to be playing Pokemon Tournament or even Splatoon and you need precise movement and you're playing on the dock, then that's going to be a really nice feature that you can actually use your uh, Pro Controller as a wired controller. And uh, it looks like that's all new in uh, controller and sensors. TV settings, I think there's nothing new here. Nope. But in system, there's a couple of things new in system. We have uh, right here, we have a uh, uh, lower max uh, headphone volume. So now you can control the uh, uh, max vo volume of your headphones. The mute when headphones are disconnected was already there, but now we have lower max volume. It says, set a maximum volume for headphones or speakers connected to the controller's audio jack. So that's a pretty nice little new feature. Also, I'm pretty sure this is new as well. It says, change display colors if you click on change display colors you can actually invert colors and grayscale if you don't know what grayscale is it pretty much turns your uh, display black and white a lot of uh, android phones and maybe even the iphone you can actually turn your display black and white why would you ever want to turn your display black and white well one instance for instance you would want to do it just to say battery so for instance if you want to say battery that is a reason to do it it may not look the best and you may not have the optimal experience but if you're low on battery and you need the most battery out of your system at the time to really play the game or do something on your system then you want to go to grayscale now invert colors i'm going to go ahead and show you invert colors that's what invert colors look like it looks really really funky again it's probably the same uh the same thing as grayscale just to save battery i'm going to go back down there and go back to uh uh change display colors and i'll show you a uh, grayscale as well here is grayscale right here and grayscale pretty much like i said turns everything black and white and uh pretty much just to say battery if you if you have a lot of battery or if you have a battery pack there's really no reason to have grayscale on because as you can see it makes the ui of the nintendo switch look really bad off and it makes it look black and white and with a display that's really crispy and really nice and really gorgeous you wouldn't want to have this on but it is nice that nintendo is actually adding a lot of features to the nintendo switch it looks like they're rolling out a lot of features that are actually beneficial to us let me go back to system let me go back to uh console sound let me go not console sound excuse me let me go down to uh the change color display i'll just turn it back to default and then there is one new one that is pretty much very very useful which i'm going to show you right now i'm pretty sure everyone can benefit from this you may think you may not, but I'm pretty sure when I tell you what it is, you're going to be able to benefit from it. What feature am I talking about? Well, if you go into controllers right here, and then on the right side, you'll see a new one. It says change grip order, which was already there. Pairing new controllers was there, and close was there. But now we do have a new one called 
find controller. Yes, you can actually find controllers. And this is not a new feature in uh, technology. If you've ever used a Roku 4, the Roku 4 actually allowed you to press a button on the Roku 4 actual box and it would actually trigger the little speaker in the Roku 4's remote and you could actually find the Roku 4's remote. Same principle here, although of course the uh, Switch's uh, controllers don't have any uh, speakers on them, you can actually vibrate them and they will actually find them. If I go ahead and press buttons on it, are the uh, the bumpers on the back, you can't see it on camera and no point of showing you the controller but it is vibrating on camera. It will be not, um, not on camera but it is vibrating behind the camera but uh, this is going to be very useful if you lose your Joy-Cons or your Pro Controller and you don't know where they are. You can hear the vibration. It would have been nice if they actually added a uh, speaker to the Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller just because it would have been more easier to find. But I guess this is better than nothing. And when something is vibrating, if you turn off all the sounds in your house or wherever you are, most likely you'll be able to hear it. And I will admit it's better than not having nothing at all. So I am glad this is a welcome feature on the Nintendo Switch. Now I don't know if there's any new features on the Nintendo Switch outside of that. There may be more features that I missed but that's all I could find personally myself. If you know of any new features that come to this update feel free to uh, comment in the in the comment section below and tell me any features that I forgot to mention. I just wanted to make this quick update to the Nintendo Switch because recently we did get an update to the Nintendo Switch and it was a pretty big update and it added a lot of useful features to the Nintendo Switch. Anyway guys, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out guys.